Combustion imminent? What does that mean? Ah! It means fire, Robert. Brad Bird, just describe to me you sitting there wondering, dreaming up superpowers. There are so many in this film. Yes. Well, there, you know, I'd love to say that I came up with some new ones, but they're, they're basically kind of, they're, every superpower known to man has been done by everybody at this point. So it's just how well do we use them? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a challenge. Yes, it's for challenge. sure. For sure. And I mean, you know, what is behind the whole superpower thing? What does that say to us in our most primal selves? Well, I think it, I mean, it really has been around as long as storytelling has been around. Um, um, I think that we are um, amazed at our own powers. I mean, when you see um, tiny babies kind of discovering that, you know, they can move this thing and every once in a while they hit themselves in the face and act like someone else did it, you know. Um, <laughs> I think that in some way we're doing that all the way through our lives, you know, and and you see it uh, with um, the objects that we create. We create these things that can do amazing things that we can't. And we imagine what if we could do these things without the, what if we could fly without an airplane? What if we could uh, cruise through the water really fast without a boat? And so um, superpowers have been around as long as there has been storytelling. That's what the Greek mythology is all about, superpowers. Yes, you're right. Isn't that interesting? And I think the film is really challenging for kids. I mean, they love it, but they have to really work at what's happening and the storyline and all that, and I think that's terrific. Well, good. It's not, it's not meant to... Uh, educate kids, it's it's meant to entertain movie lovers. Um, but I remember when I was a kid, you know, I went to the movies, I was the youngest one in my family, and I went to the movies, we saw things that were um, above my head, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, Dr. Zhivago. I didn't know anything about the Russian Revolution, <laughs> but um, I was enthralled because it seemed to be a important and, and uh, sweeping and, and, you know, I don't know anything about Russia and uh, look at these people shooting each other in the snow and now there's this amazing mountain pass and this guy, you know, just wants to be loved and, you know, I, I, I didn't really understand it, but um, it didn't it didn't talk down to me. I was yes. reaching for it. and That's it. and uh uh, you know, uh, what I always loved about Disney animation when I was a kid was that I didn't ever feel that it, uh, it was talking down to me. I felt like I was rising to it. If you could just tell me just a little bit about working with the, one of the nine old men. Which one? I worked with a few. I thought you were mentored by one. In uh, I, yes, I was mentored by Milt Call, who yeah. was an amazing artist, one of the greatest ever. Yeah. Um, it meant a lot to me. I knew enough about animation at that point that I knew some of the scenes that he did and, and I could tell them apart from the other scenes because um, he had a mastery that, that was rare. And um, he was uh, seen as a very tough, kind of scary guy, but I saw him as a guy who was willing to drop what he was doing and spend time with a kid and, and you know, talk to him like I was a fellow artist and, and not, um, you know, he challenged me, you know, and that meant that uh, he was tough on me, but tough in a really good way. I mean, I remember he gave me this one critique, you know, and he could be rough, you know, he'd go, you know, Jesus, you, 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 you didn't even explore the possibilities here, you know, and, and, and I kind of came to, I was talking to my mom and I, and I said, oh man, you know, he really, he really found all these things that I didn't do with the scene, and you know, uh, you know, he said this isn't, you know, I had a gag that made him laugh, but he said we didn't do that kind of gag here, and and my mother said, he said we, he said she's including you with him, he's saying we don't, he's inviting you in, you know, and he, she, she said that's really special, and so instead of looking at it as criticism, I I took it as this amazingly talented guy is spending time on me. And so that means a lot to me. So it, it had a lot to do with um, how I saw things. And the fact that he was always working really, really hard to make his stuff great. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have a wise mother.
Ah, thank you. Well,